So hello, my name is Denison Bertram. Uh, I'm with DAP Hero. DAP Hero, which we're going to talk about today, you don't need to code, right? Our good friend Abe uh, sort of pitched in a comment for that. Basically, what is the problem today when we think about interacting with Web3, when we think about interacting with smart contracts, when we think about interacting with the future, right? The biggest thing is blockchain is hard. Blockchain is, has many different libraries. There's changing standards. There's few best practices. There's outdated documentation. And getting help is also decentralized, which sounds cool, but when you're in a tricky spot, it's very difficult to understand where to go to get help with what you're doing. However, number one, the most difficult thing in blockchain is you need to code. You have to know how to code to do any of the things that we're building or any of the things that we're talking about. This is a pie chart. And I don't even need to label it for you, but I think you know which slice of this pie chart is people who know how to code. Right? So for Web3, when we talk about building a front end for Web3, when we want to build an interface to connect to the future, to the things that we're building, it takes nearly 200 lines of code just to get started. That is just to get your project to the point where you can say, ah, now I can begin. From experience at the hackathon today, there will be many people who come in here as experienced front end developers, and they will still spend hours figuring out the idiosyncrasies of using Web3. Many of you who are using Web3, I'm sure you remember your first experience that you figured out that you called a function that returns a string or a number, and you got a big number object. And you were like, what is happening? So also, adding new features is nearly as difficult. Right? In blockchain, we have Web3. But now, if you want to use all the other things that we have out there, it's even harder. You need new libraries. You need new documentation. You need new sources of information about how to add this stuff. We also have choice fatigue. These are just a number of the tool sets that you can use to get started today. They are all awesome projects. But you have to think about it. Are we going to use jQuery or React? Or maybe we're Vue. Maybe we're Rimble. Maybe we're going to start with Firebase. All of these things go into the choice fatigue that makes it difficult to build on what we're trying to do. Not to mention, if you are not a developer or a person that doesn't consider themselves a developer, this kind of choice fatigue is lethal for our goal of onboarding people to what we are building. So how do you feel if you're not a developer? Basically this, right? When we talk about one million developers, we have to realize and understand that half the room mentally gets up and walks out. Because people sometimes hear developer, and that's a scary word, right? Like I think many people have dealt with the idea of imposter syndrome, and imposter syndrome is real also for blockchain. For many of us who've been here, this feels like the obvious future. For, for a lot of people, it feels like particle physics. And it's something that can be off-putting. So the solution is Dab Hero. So it's a single, simple interface to connect any blockchain application to your website with little or no code required. So how does it work? Tags, right? So Take a step back for a second. When you build something, if you build a smart contract, right, and you're connecting to you know, a decentralized exchange, and you're going to do some sort of zero knowledge proof, and then you build the front end, in my personal experience, I would have an easier time building a multi-signature contract gnosis back DAO that has Augur prediction markets than I would be able to build a pop-up with a blue button that squiggles when you click on it and has a nice drop-down shadow. Right? I'm not a front-end developer myself. And it's a little bit much to ask for designers to be front-end developers and blockchain engineers, blockchain engineers to be front-end developers and designers, and front-end developers to be designers and blockchain engineers. Right? This is a big ask. And as we go forward in our ecosystem, we're going to have to think about, OK, how do we support more than just the people who can build smart contracts? 
So Dapp Hero, it works with essentially anywhere you can play with the HTML. So that means Webflow, Glitch, JavaScript, Squarespace, React, Drupal, PHP. PHP may, may sound funny to us when we think Rust is cool, but PHP still powers tens of millions of websites around the world which are doing real work, adding real value for real people. Right? And so we need to find a way to be able to support these people who are building on these sites and platforms. The other really important thing to remember about everything that we're doing here, the technology stack, the, the different protocols that we're using, the blockchain, the fact that we're even on Ethereum, most of us, is non-devs don't care. Right? The things that we think are awesome are not awesome to the people who would normally use a tool like Squarespace, who would normally use a tool like Wix or something like that. And to discount these people is to discount tens of millions of websites where real people are doing real work. And that is part of the future of where we want to go. So one of the core ethos about Dapp Hero is spend time building your thing. Not the thing you think you need to build for the thing you're trying to build needs in order to get built. And if that hasn't resonated with some of you, you will feel it if, you, if you're not like particle physics level web three, before you can even get to building your front end for your app, you have to build first the smart contracts. If not, you're gonna be using someone else's smart contracts, which is fine, totally cool. But then you're going to think, OK, is it React or is it Vue? Am I using a starter template? Am I using a kit? Am I going to use Web3? Oh, maybe I'm using ethers. Oh, maybe I don't want to include the IPFS binaries because now my thing is four megabytes large as a download. These are, this is the kind of choice fatigue. And this is the kind of building the, the canal to ship the product to just get started that is really keeping people away who are outside of this room from building on it. As I mentioned before, developer is a scary word to many people. And at Dapp Hero, we're trying to get rid of that. We're trying to really cut down that friction. So we're in alpha right now. I'm going to just give you, I think I have a couple minutes. I'm not sure if I just blazed through this. Oh, I have like four minutes. So I'm just going to show you a really quick example of what we mean by using tags and being able to use a no-code tool like Webflow to build uh, Web3 dApps. And actually, I have a challenge to put out there in general. We believe that a non-front-end developer, non-technical person, can build a front-end for a dApp faster with Dapp Hero than a technical Web3 developer can build a front-end for a dApp using something like React. So let me try and load this up. Live demo time. So I'm loading up my Webflow. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through one of the templates that we already have uh, set up in our tutorial section to show you how that might work. Uh, hopefully we can see this well. Okay, so this, this, is a, uh, this is just a template. It's clonable in the Webflow store. So it's free. Anyone can use it and play with it. The idea of this is to show you how to use 3Box, which is another feature that normally, if you were going to build using React or Vue, you would actually get this library. You'd have to understand their documentation. You would have to put this in. It would be another part of that cognitive load that you'd have to deal with in building your application. And then you would have to be really concerned about how it works. So in this example, you can use standard tool sets. One of the things that we're trying to do is allow designers, creators, entrepreneurs to build with the tool sets that they're actually comfortable with, the things that they already know, so we don't ask them to understand all of blockchain just to get started. So for this example, right, I'm going to play with it just to sort of give you an idea of how sort of simple a tool like Webflow would be to use. You can style it however you want, blah, blah, blah. The key thing is, when you want to get Web3 into your template, into your project, what you do is you go to your script tag, and we have a whole website that gives you your script tag, and you can add smart contracts to it. You add a script tag to it, which is the Dapp Hero engine, which runs inside of your DOM, watches your DOM, sees all the things that you label, that you tag, saying, hey, I want blockchain here, and then it automatically just does it for you. So in this case, placeholder name, for example. This is live demo time, so you know. This is our alpha. We've been on this, so you know, go easy. 
Basically, what you do is you just tag, if you can see that, I, don't, I hope you can see that properly, I don't know if you can see it all the way over there, but you just add these attribute tags. So you say here, my feature is three box, and the thing I want here is my user's three box profile name. Tag it in plain English. Here you'd say, hey, this is my uh, three, box, uh, three box profile image. So you just tag it as, okay, this is the property image. That's what I want this to be. You add a, a Web3 button here, which is a, a, akin to asking users permission to access their Web3, their, their wallets. And you just say, that's the enable button. That's what's gonna enable my application. And then you click publish. Hopefully the internet's not too slow. So you click publish here, it's ready. And what you have is, you automatically have a Web3 DAP. You're done. All you did was label these elements, saying, I want this blockchain stuff here, and you're finished. The process is done. And what this is really important for is, is that we are reducing that cognitive load for people who are not in this room to being able to access the power of blockchain. But for us who are in this room and do know React or Vue and love getting into Angular and building it in Gatsby, we can now prototype way faster. You do not need to build the thing that you need to build in order to build the thing that you're trying to build. You can just get started. Another example that we have of this, since I'm gonna steal another minute from us, is to show you as well, you can also do this with templates inside of Glitch, which is something that we're also supporting right out of the box. So this is the Dapier interface. So let's go into, uh, I'll show the same thing before, the three box profile demo, but in the HTML version. So you can see, because we're developers here, what we're actually talking about under the hood. So if you open this up, this is all the HTML necessary to run a three box powered decentralized application. You have normal paragraph tags, normal H2 tags, that's it. And then when you go again, click the enable button, and you have a three box enabled DAP, right like that. You don't need anything else, the friction is much lower, so for us in the room, we're able to prototype at a speed that you weren't able to prototype before. And again, we're really looking to enable this for platforms like Wix, for Shopify, Squarespace, Webflow, so that we can bring in not just our creative energy, but the creative energy of everyone who's currently building on the Web2 world. Because something that we tend to believe in the ecosystem is, is that we need to rebuild everything that's already been built. But the truth is, there's a lot of lessons from Web2 that have already been learned, and we should learn from them and put what we are building into the future using the tools that are already here. So once again, this is Dap Hero. We have some bounties this weekend. Basically, if you do some templates using Glitch or templates using Webflow, for whatever you're working on, we're excited. We're giving uh, six bounties for 500 DAI each. Um, so if you see us walking around, we have shirts. We don't have a table because it's two of us here today. Um, but come check us out, ask us any questions. And yeah, build with us. <laughs>